accepted the first contest of the day here in the Austin. And leading off for Texas A&M. Yeah. And it was at this very regional. So we'll do it again, the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Taking a look now at the starting freshman, Amari Harper, the only first-year player with the... Not like freshmen throughout this entire season. Harper tried to lay down the bunt. It was an 18. And the one they pulled off last night... The one two taken to center field on the run is Bella Dayton to win. I feel like this game, a baseball game, which was great, but I was like, wait, we're not playing Texas. Why are we throwing the horns down? So she knew real quick how fiery this rivalry could be. A dribbler over to first. Vanessa Quiroga steps on the back, and it's a one start today against Texas. Well, Coach Ford, just as soon as the season started for Texas, Leanne Good and Vivi Martinez. Good leading things off. The all Big 12 second teamer takes strike one from the sixth year. Well, it's so interesting to think how fiery this. That one taken to right center field. And Smith is there for out number one. It wasn't too fond. Airman is going to be so rowdy. Both teams have this in the back of their mind. Texas with their first hit of the game is Mia Scott. She's been automatic at the plate. Reached on a walk yesterday, stole the base. Of course, multiple amount of errors in the Oklahoma City that has highlighted Texas's run from last year. Big deal. She just goes ahead, hits a game winning or a game time. 3 1 on the way. Dayton chops one over to first. Hand in there for the Martinez who started off her Texas career. And actually took a step backwards, which makes it a dead ball. Scott caught no man's land. Contro nearly. Alex, Mia Scott, and her base running king fences into throwing behind her. Martinez over to second. Harper is there on the first, and the threat is over. Texas gets one runner, and that is all. Before the final at-bat of the game, Pulled Diana Coleman, the freshman, aside and said, hey, relax, you've got this. And she ended the game. But with him this week, I mentioned, hey, Sitlali Gutierrez, it's an ERA of 2.84. We said, is she a little bit more nervous in starts? After all, this is her first year, and he goes consistently. So, yes, I think to his point, now that she's been a starter consistent. To the leaders on this squad. 2-2, two -two, strike three. Own for a strikeout looking. Second strikeout of the day for Booty. And before that was the everyday shortstop with Trisha Aggies. A clutch, clutch player for Texas A&M all season. In this one belted to deep left center field. Papelka underneath it, and it died. Actually dealt with back tightness. Didn't play in two out of the line. Hard to pitch to when she's seeing the ball well. Smokes one right into the glove of Wiggins. Texas doing a good job of getting barrels to the ball right now. She started it in the series finale against Kansas, but two walk-off hits against the Cowgirls made her well-known. Harper is there. Last year's a freshman, got just one hit in limiting of the opening round of the Big 12 tournament. An RBI single yesterday. And is hitting four. First swing and miss Texas has had so far in this, er this game early. Swing and a miss, strikeout number one on the day for Fred. Career with two outs in the bottom of the eighth, took the first pitch she It's on the Texas Bombers, so there's a lot of familiarity right here as Coleman was the first baseman behind Gutierrez. So she knows everything that this freshman has. For Gutierrez. Gutierrez trying to use that off-speed curve, see if she can get... Payoff pitch. And the first base runner is aboard. For a and here in the third is Q by Texas State. And by the way, on that play, it probably would have bounced back pretty far. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Throw back. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number three for Gutierrez. Right. 
Well, Gutierrez came into this. Chops one over to third. Scott on to first. Coleman advances to second, two away. Coco Willie, a strikeout victim in the first inning. Again. It takes ball two. But even at the plate, she's there. She has the capability of attacking those pitches. Over to short, fielded by the freshman Martinez. Not in time. Two aboard. Doesn't allow her to set her feet and get a throw off in time. Ten with runners on before finally rallying late. And there is ball one. a had quite a few foul balls. She was still able to be in. Atwood keeps it in front of her. That was a big pitch right there by Gutierrez. This one taken to center field. That's going to drop in. Coleman rounding third. The throw home to Atwood. It's here in the third inning to grab the lead. Here's Trinity Cannon. And again, Gutierrez starts off with the ball. Second. Well, they're able to adjust right now because Gutierrez's speed pitch she's thrown this inning has either been in the dirt or off the plate. That one popped up to Martinez. You got the jump. Go with your gut. They did it last. Texas barreled the ball up decently well in the first inning. Leanne Good. Roney swings at the first pitch and delivers to center field. The last few weeks began the years at everyday start. Chops one over the head of the pitcher. Woolley, nowhere to go. Keepsters on base. And now the second time through the order for Texas. Here is. And she gets hit. First inning. She is top 20 in the nation. And it misses. Often. And a patient hitter. 24 walks. Unleashes on. Swings at the three. Right center. Smith charging in. And it's not deep. It's time of the year. Swings at the first pitch. Off the glove of Harper. One run comes in. It's thrown away. And Texas. Dayton does it again. Martinez check swing. Woolley reaches up and makes the grab. So both teams get on the board here in the third. The Aggies take the lead. Texas responds in the game because she can only re-enter once. So you'd rather save that for later. And for her, she earned National Player of the Week honors. Martinez trying to make the play and does in time. What a question. About halfway through the season, since then, 13 straight games. Freshman's been flawless. Talk about Texas's defense during the regular season last year. It was only at a 9.59 field. Earlier this season, we saw Mia Scott in the outfield. Called strike three for Gutierrez. That's her fourth K of the day. Inning. Here's Ryland Wiggins swinging at the first pitch right into the glove of Martinez. A one, two, three. And Preston Kennedy closed out the win last night against Texas State. Day chases that one. Coach for time in Oklahoma City. Lifts one down the line and right. And Smith unable to hang on. And M traveled well, so you get to hear the fans on both games are so much better for some reason. Probably Smith getting another opportunity, hangs on this time for the first out. There is kind of a nervous energy in the ball. It can be a game winner or a game breaker depending on the outcome. Here in the bottom of the fourth, a leadoff walk issued to Courtney Day. And there's the second walk of the inning now from Kennedy. And Papelka does as well. And the freshman Maloney delivers again. They would make it easy for Texas A&M to get the force out at the 
and wisely lets it drop into foul territory. Otherwise, that most likely would have been a sack fly. What a difference. A huge strikeout for Emily. Was hit by a pitch in the third inning. Chops one over to short. Woolley on to first. And Texas leaves the bases loaded. We'll get there are some changes around her on defense to score the only run of the game so far for the Aggies. Home or excuse me, game winning hit to negatively to Ayana Coleman. See if she can get a swing. Just the second walk of the day for Gutierrez, and they both come to the freshman Ayana on to play the loser of this contest. But Reese Atwood should be able to answer that question. Days, she said thanks, but I think. Warren delivers with a base knock to center field. Coleman rounding second, digs for third, and Warren slides in with California. Lefties against it, Lolly Gutierrez. They're also crowding the plate and change up though that can off, keep hitters off balance if she does have to come in this game. The rebound. The count goes one and two. Warren took that outside pitch to right center for the double. Over to first. Simmons steps on the bag. Warren got in trouble. Slides. You have to know that runner's speed. Anyone else on the a &M? <laughs> Called strike. <laughs> Willie over to first. Simmons is there. Just came in as a defensive replacement and gets the job done. Janae Jefferson 2.0, and they had them batting back where she left off. She's having a stellar sophomore campaign. Backs up Harper on the first in time. Bella Dayton, and technically 0 for 2. Lays down the bunt, charging in as Wiggins the throw to first in time. It was Coco Wooley being a highlight reel at shortstop, and today... Wanda Martinez picking up and makes the grab. We played five here in Austin, still a at 22 wins apiece. All set to Norman as the one, two, and three seeds. Another leadoff walk issued by Gutierrez. That elevation can be due to start... Cannon lifts one. And Martinez is there. One away. She finished the regular season. Top five. About the importance of getting Julia Cottrell to transfer into Texas a and who have worked seamlessly together this year. Swing and a miss. Sophia Simpson. Two away now for Morton. Runner at first is going to throw on to second in time. Atwood got her. Tie the game and then eventually win in walk-off fashion. Game last night and also has this one driven to deep left field. And holding, crashing into the wall. It's Star Ferguson. They're great hands by Star Ferguson. Saving a run. The a and defense kept them in the game. Almost easily been a double for Courtney Day. If that ball gets over Ferguson's head. Harper is there. Quickly sitting. It's Alyssa Washington. Pinch hitting. Saw her pinch run in the Big 12 tournament. Coach White telling us she is fully released and fully clear. Did save a run in right field. Season. Playing in her. Takes one to left field. Alyssa Papelka back in the game makes the grab on the run. Martinez pull off there, so making sure there was no defense, and only that for her first year or two in college. Got her. It will come down to Ayana Coleman, the hero of last. Coleman inside hard. So if they can keep that pitch in Sophia Simpson's pocket. During her freshman season, trying. And Texas is moving on to the regional final. Three 
straight change-ups. This is State and Seton Hall, that game coming up. Victory, two runs, four hits, no errors.